So welcome back. Let's play Evil Within on Nightmare difficulty setting. This is chapter 7. And let's pick up some matches from here. And there's nothing on the other side of this church. So no need to go there. Pick up this green shell. And there's one map fragment also. And then we just have to go talk to Joseph. So just have to wait here a bit for Joseph to sit down. Hey, Joseph, you still with me? Sebastian, you ever had the urge to just jump? When you're on a high place, or the subway rolls by. Imagine if you had that urge for a minute straight, then two minutes. You fought it off three times now, Joseph. You're learning to stop it. You're not listening. I'm not worried about stopping it, Seb. I'm worried about not wanting to stop it. Some part of me wants to turn. I don't know why, and I can't reason it away. It's deeper than that. It's like instinct. And it's getting stronger. Hold on. This way. So here we are in the catacombs. This first area is basically just looting around. I better start searching for my partners. And there's a few enemies before we get to the next area, which is going to be the main area in this chapter. And in this chapter we're gonna face the Keeper boss and in my opinion it's one of the easiest bosses in the game pick up this green shell and disarm this trap And remember to pick up these trap parts. And there's gonna be three enemies up ahead. And my plan is to use the flash bolt to stun them and then do the sneak kill. 
So I have upgraded my flash bolt quite a bit. So I think I have, if I remember right, 10 seconds time in the flash bolt. So in that time I should be able to sneak kill all three of them. So just try to lure all of them close to each other. Yeah, and here you actually see that I was trying to sneak kill this last enemy, but it didn't work. Although the enemy was still stunned when I tried to do the sneak kill, but it just didn't work. So again, you can see that this gameplay is a bit tricky in this game sometimes. I should have been able to sneak kill all of them. But yeah, if you have upgraded your flash bolt, that's kind of an easy way to deal with those enemies. So no need to spend any more ammo for them. And remember to come to this room, because when you open that door over there, you're not going to be able to come here anymore. Looks loose. And here's the first lithograph. And we have to find two more of those a bit later. Check these trap parts. And remember to open this safe. There's one key in it. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in there. Just checking to make sure. And here we are. Uh, let's put the first leader graph to its place. So two doors open. And there's a safe room in here. Pick up this green shell and I'm just gonna go to the safe room and save the game and check out a couple of lockers. I think I got two keys. The worrying type, I see. And let's see what we got. More shotgun shells. Don't need them right now. And more shotgun shells. <laughs> well, I wasn't that lucky. So let's pick up some. And let's save the game. So there are two areas we have to go to find those leader graphs. 
And it's actually very important in which order you do this, because there's a secret room in one of those areas, and if you want to access the secret room, you have to turn off this poisoned gas. So you should go first to this side, and when you turn this wheel right over here, uh, it's going to turn off that gas, and you'll be able to access the secret room. If you go to the other side first, the secret room is filled with gas, and you can't go there. So here, take your sniper rifle, and you see this one enemy is hanging over there. When you see that door open, shoot the enemy to the head, and it's gonna active that trap, and this other enemy is gonna walk into that trap. And uh, there's some matches in here. And there's a couple of handgun ammo in there where you saw that enemy in that one cell. But there's no need to kill that enemy uh, because no need to spend some ammo for the enemy just for a couple of handgun bullets. And use this handle uh, to turn on that trap and it's gonna kill all the enemies in this room and there's some sniper rifle ammo in here and one syringe and some trap parts so no need to spend much ammo in this chapter And here's a trap. Let's disarm that. And remember to pick up this grenade. And you saw I picked up this axe uh, from this one cell. So remember to pick that up. because there's one enemy over here and you can easily kill the enemy with that axe and you can save some ammo and you have to turn this wheel and you have a certain amount of time before the poison is gonna kill Sebastian But you have plenty of time here. Alright, let's continue. A couple of green shell bottles on the right here. Remember to pick those up. And there's gonna be three enemies in there. So walk up here, and when you see the enemy, I shoot this trap and I'm gonna burn it just to make sure because sometimes uh, it doesn't die and I'm just gonna use the shotgun and the handgun as a combination to kill these alter egos in here and use one bolt also if you shoot the bolt right up to the alter ego's head and you can kill it with just one bolt and you can get one harpoon bolt at the end of this area so I'm gonna get that bolt back and there's one green shell bottle in here also right there Only thing that I don't really like in this chapter is that you have to open too many doors and turn these wheels. It's kind of boring. But otherwise, I really like this chapter. And there's some enemies crawling on the floor here. 
and you can easily just pass them. Pick up this green shell, and if you just run past them, uh, it's gonna be fine. Just run over here, and there's one enemy waking up here, so just use the shotgun or the handgun to shoot it down. And quickly turn this wheel before those enemies crawl in here. And that's it for this area. And here's the harpoon bolt. And let's pick up the leader graph. And by the way, I forgot to loot here, so I'm just gonna do that now. And let's go to the other side. Pick up these trap parts, and there's one audio tape in here. And there's one key up there. Just go on top of this and take your handgun. And the statue is over there. And just shoot it and pick up the key. Whoever opens that safe next had better be ready to pay the price. So we have to go right. And there's one trap behind you. And remember to disarm this trap, and you have to be quick here, because there's this trap uh, coming behind you, and you're gonna die for it if you're not quick enough. So just shoot those wheels and go here quickly. And one alter ego is gonna drop here. And just use your shotgun, or whatever you want, to kill it. Yeah, I kind of wasted them all in here. But I don't need to worry about the shotgun or handgun ammo. I got lots of those uh, from the lockers. So a bunch of enemies in this area. And you can just use this trap to kill all the enemies. So... We have to go there through that gate and when you start turning this wheel it's gonna trigger more enemies into this area so I want all the enemies at the same time in here so I just went there turn the wheel to trigger the enemies and then just lure the enemies under this trap and just use the trap to kill all the enemies And those alter egos, they vomit this kind of acid from their mouth. So you have to be careful, so try not to go too close to them. And I see I didn't get all the enemies. So just have to redo this. And that's it.
And remember to check if the enemies drop some green shell. Well, here they didn't. We got some handgun ammo back. And some more handgun ammo. And go here. Pick up the green shell and disarm this one trap. And now let's go to the secret room. The secret room is here, where those enemies came. Pick up the shotgun shells. And there's some trap parts in here. And it's a good idea to turn on the light. So here's the first trap. There's a few traps in this area, so you have to be careful. And here's the other one. And disarm these traps on the wall. And one more trap in here. And there's a bunch of green chill and one key. Just break the statue and pick up the key. And when you go on top of those stairs, there's gonna be one alter ego. So I'm just gonna run past him. There it is. So no need to spend some ammo for that. And almost done. There's three more enemies. And again, you can use the trap to kill those enemies. Use the same trick. So two enemies are gonna wake up in here. And there's one enemy there on the stairs. So just run around in here and try to lure all the enemies in there under that trap and try not to go too close to them and again somehow this one enemy managed to go on top of that trap so let's just redo this wait for the enemy to come here and use the trap. And just check in if there's any green gel. So use the trap one more time and go on top of the trap and there's one room up there. Some green shell, one key, and one grenade. So let's put on these lithographs. And next we're gonna face the keeper. So let's just save the game before continuing.
And I'm just gonna upgrade my Agony Crossbow a bit. As you see, I haven't upgraded it at all. So basically, I want faster reload time. But the Keeper, it's pretty easy boss. So no need to upgrade anything more. I'm gonna use the explosive bolts and handgun to kill the keeper. If you have upgraded your explosive bolts, uh, it's gonna be pretty easy. And even if you haven't upgraded the explosive bolt as much as I have uh, now, you don't have to worry about it. So here you have to run and dodge these traps, but this is actually pretty easy. Uh, you can just take your time in here and the traps, it's not gonna reach you very easily. So you don't need to hurry there. Leslie, you're safe. Where's... Kid. Kid. Kidman? Is she here too? Kid. Kid. Is she alright? Is she all right? All right? Stand back. I'll get it open. So, pick up this one shotgun uh, shell. Uh, get it open. And I'm gonna make some explosive bolts ready. For the keeper fight. And when you turn this wheel, it's gonna trigger the cutscene. And after the cutscene, you're gonna have to fight the keeper. No! Wait! So the keeper doesn't take very much damage. So you can kill it with one explosive bolt and with one handgun shot. And there's lots of handgun ammo in this area. And also there's one explosive bolt. So just fire the explosive bolt and shoot it one time with a handgun and that's it. And just make sure to keep your distance because the keeper is moving much faster on Nightmare than on Survival, for example. So you have to be sure that he doesn't come very close to you. So I think that's the easiest way to kill it. And no need to spend very much ammo for it. And there was the explosive bolt. And let's go pick up the handgun ammo. And there's also a few trap parts in this area. So basically, again, I'm using the ammo uh, that's in this area, so I'm gonna get all the ammo back. And here, when you have turned this wheel, right away, just run left and you can easily dodge the keeper. And just run into this room. And here's more handgun ammo and some trap parts and shotgun shells. And in this room you have to kill the keeper uh, for the second time. And I'm gonna use the same method again.
So here, when you get back to the gameplay, right away run here uh, to make some distance and shoot the explosive bolt and one handgun shot and that's it. Yeah, and the thing is that the keeper is gonna spawn again and again, no matter how many times you kill it. So you only have to kill it two times. And we have to pick up this wheel so we can get rid of that last gas. So here's the wheel and I'm gonna freeze the keeper and run to this way because this is the shorter way into this room. And if you freeze the keeper, you're gonna have enough time to turn this wheel. And that's it. Pretty easy. And that's it. And we have to go left, but you should go right first because there's one green gel bottle in there. If you paid attention uh, when you saw that cutscene uh, where Leslie went through this gate, and you could see this one green gel bottle in that cutscene. So that was the green chill bottle we just picked up. And this is going to be the end of this chapter. There's a couple of more green chill bottles in here. The other one is here, behind this rock. And the other one is here. And let's continue in the next video. Uh, with chapter 8. Thank you for watching and if you like my videos please support my channel, post a comment and subscribe. Thank you.